Hi everyone, I am Harita KS, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, SNIT, ADU. I am dealing the subject CA 474, Municipal Soil Waste Management, KTU Civil Engineering, 8th Semester, Elective Subject. So, we have studied all the topics as per syllabus. We start from Generation, Storage, Collection, Transfer and Transport, Processing and Recovery, Finally, Disposal. Today we will discuss three R's of Sol Waste Management. This picture shows a responsible waste management hierarchy. First, the preferred option is reduce, generating less waste in everyday life. Second, reuse, repairing or reconditioning devices or parts for reuse. Then, recycle, turning materials into a new substance or product. Then, recovery, recovery energy when you cannot recycle. Finally, disposal. Landfill when no alternative. So, the three R's of solid waste management. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce waste as much as possible. Recycle sources to the greatest possible extent. Reuse product as many times as possible. They conserve natural resources, landfill space and energy. Also save land and money communities must use to dispose of waste in landfill. Siting a new landfill has become difficult and more expensive due to environmental regulations and public opposition. First, reduce. The best way to manage waste is not to produce it. By product in bulk. Larger economy sized products or ones in concentrated form use less packaging and usually cost less per ounce. Avoid over packaged goods, especially ones packed with several materials such as foil, paper, and plastic. They are difficult to recycle, plus, you pay more for the package. Avoid Disposable goods such as paper plate, cups, napkins, razors, lighters because it contributes to the problem and costs more because they must be replaced again and again. Buy durable goods, ones that are well built or that carry good warranties. They will last longer, save money in the long run and save landfill space. At work, Make two-sided copies whenever possible. Maintain central files rather than using several files for individual. Use electronic mail or main bulletin board. Reuse. It makes economic and environmental sense to reuse product. Sometimes it takes creativity. Reuse product for the same purpose. Save paper and plastic bag and repair broken appliances, furniture and toys. Reuse products in different ways. Use a coffee can to pack a lunch. Use plastic microwave dinner trays as picnic dishes. Sell all cloth, appliances, toys and furniture in garage sale or arts or donate them to charity. Use resealable Containers rather than plastic wrap. Use a ceramic coffee mug instead of paper cup. Reuse grocery bags or bring your own cloth back to the store. Recycle. It includes series of steps that take a used material and process, remanufacture it and sell it as a new product. Check collection centers and curbside pickup services to see what they accept and begin collecting those materials. 
These can include metal can, newspaper, paper product, glass, plastics, etc. Consider purchasing recycled material at work when purchasing material for office supply, office equipment or manufacturing. Speak to store managers and ask for product and packaging that help cut down on waste such as recycled product and product that are not over packaged. Buy product made from materials that is collected for recycling in your community. Use recycled paper for letterhead, copy of paper and newsletters. Today we will discuss three R's of solid waste management. So there is a chance to ask this as a general question in your university exam. Explain three R's of solid waste management or explain the hierarchy in solid waste management.